These are residents of Gwagwalada Area Council in Nigeria's capital city. They are part of the critical decision makers in the electoral process in Nigeria. They comprise of women, youths, persons with disability, among others. They have been enlightened on the forthcoming general elections in Nigeria. The Enlightenment Campaign is a project of Cedar Seed Foundation with support from UNDP. The electorates are educated on the pre-election process, election day, and post-election processes. Basically what we are doing today is to share with them uh, some of the efforts that has been put in place by uh, Cedar Seed Foundation uh, to ensure their inclusion particularly in this forthcoming election. Uh, there are a few barriers that we've identified uh, that has been hindering them from their participation. So we talk about issues of institution that has to do with the legal framework. Uh, we talked about issues about attitudinal, uh, issues around economic empowerment, issues around communication, because not too many persons with disability get access to uh, communication and information materials. So all of these things are things that have been hindering their participation. I could give you a very clear example. Uh, for somebody who is visually impaired, how do you want the person to be able to know which candidates to vote for on election day? For the person who um, has a uh, hearing challenge, what it means is that he or she would need somebody to interpret to the person on election day. So these are some of the issues that we have identified as an organization, and then we have made recommendations to relevant authorities, and we are here to also inform them that some of these challenges has been addressed. Youth has the highest number of voters. Youth has uh, the highest uh, population in the country. In the country of 216 million, as we estimated or forecast, youth has the highest uh, number. As the last uh, registration from, according to the INEC, let us to understand that uh, uh, youth has about 75, 78.8% registered footer. So that is why they are very, very important. Some of the residents say the Enlightenment campaign would not have come at a better time than now, as the 2023 general elections are approaching. They also express concern on the dangers of vote buying. The youth and in Nigeria is very, very important that we have such program because so many people don't even know the reason why they are even voting, the reason why they should stand and vote for the right person, the reason why you don't need money to vote. So with this program, they got some enlightenment that this is the reason why when they collect money, they will not work for you. For these past three days, we've, gone, we've got a lot how to vote our leaders, the credible leaders we like to vote for, how to vote whoever we want and not to take bribe from any leader. For instance, now you take 2,000 naira from any leader, at the end of the day you suffer more than 2,000 naira. Our children will suffer it, but thank God for this program today. We've learned a lot on how to go about it. Thank you. It has given us more enlightenment on how to attend to the voting units and uh, without having selling our future that is collecting money 5,000 10,000 which may bring a ruin to our future to our children and which we don't want this season around. The Enlightenment campaign is tagged project disability inclusion on electoral process which is a UNDP funded intervention on electoral process in Nigeria. Emmanuel Unu, News 24.